Why are you smiling so much, Tom? Oh, the wet bar. <laughs> what is this right here? Let's take a peek. Is that a bunk? Oh. Look at that. Enjoy, Enjoy your journey. journey. We go to bed with you every single night. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so intimate. <laughs> Enjoy, Enjoy your journey. journey. Woo! Yeah! This is kind of a cool design. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Journey. Enjoy, Enjoy your, your journey! journey. <laughs> it says it sleeps four people. It's 18 feet long. Ew. Did you see that? I sleep around. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. The MSRP is close to $40,000. Show price under $28 thousand dollars like we ran into some other people here at the show today that said the prices you know are really good they don't seem like they are that high 190 a month for a toy hauler oh man and the dry weight is only 2500 pounds on this so you can tow it with a small vehicle oh look it's got storage wow this is more storage than our toy haul I hope you folks are keeping it together because I'm not. I hope you find one that floats your boat, baby. So today we are looking at RVs. Where are we at? Uh, the Tampa. Tampa the RV, RV show. show. So many RVs to take a look at here. Let's check them out. You guys are looking for a new RV. All right, think about a toy hauler. Awesome. Great meeting you guys. Good luck. Good luck. Y'all yeah, have a good one. Hey Tom, look at this. 190 a month for a toy hauler. Oh man, that's cheap. Yeah, and you know we tell people to start as small as they need to, and if anybody wants a toy hauler, you know, and wants a smaller version, this is a great option. Yeah, well let's take a look at yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I see they got this set just right here. It's got the two wine glasses yes. and the empty bottle of wine. <laughs> so what are they thinking here? It you reminds know. me of our evenings, you know, because <laughs> this is where we have our dinner in the back of the toy hauler. Right. And we can either open that up for the view or just have more privacy. And this, yeah, it reminds yeah. me of ours. When we're in an amazing spot like the Tetons. Yes, yes you, you know, can have this amazing view Opening for this up for the view of sunset. I think this one might even have more storage than ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's nice. And this Does obviously this come with it? Right, I think they needed to have that full. You know, if they want us to do a proper <laughs> review of this RV, you know It needs to be a full bottle of don't, wine. Don't jip us with the empty bottle of wine. <laughs> or if they want somebody so. to buy today, give them the wine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Loosen them up so you, you want yeah. to pull out that checkbook well, a little bit that way you easier. can be more in touch with what you really want. <laughs> right. And you're not, in, and you step, it's, you step aside fear, right? Yes. Of the purchase and you just do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So we should talk about this one right here. This is actually a Forest River product, the Salem FSX 181RT. And it's got a 13 foot, 13 and a half foot cargo area, upgrade appliance package, sleeps three. And oh, and this is important. We've got the bottle opener right here, USB ports. Okay. Oh, does anybody want to guess what's in here? Is it the shower? Is it the bathroom? Is it a closet? It's a closet. <laughs> wow. I, we could really use a closet like this. Can we have one built in our toy hauler? 
Right, that's actually quite a bit of room and it looks like you can take the shelves out if you want to hang your clothes wow. in here. Yeah, that's a good size. And did you notice even more storage? storage? Yep. So you can use that for dirty shoes, which is perfect, which we had that as well. <laughs> Okay, do we want to see what's in here? Yes, I've actually seen in oh. there. I'm impressed. Yeah? Yeah. Wow, a full size shower. Nice. It doesn't share the space with the toilet. Right. And I thought for an RV this size, it... this, to have that separate is nice. Very nice. Yes. Yeah. Very well, nice. Yeah, I did see that one. Okay. And right here we have a nice size refrigerator for such a. It really is. And it's cold. <laughs> and it's cold. <laughs> Put our snacks in here and come back later for them. <laughs> right. I guess we could turn the AC on. <laughs> we need to cool off. So we have like two burners here. Nice double sized sink. Some pantry area. A microwave. A hood over here. See some storage and some more storage. Nice. And a bed with more storage. And that's not a bad size bed. No, that looks like a queen, actually. Wired for solar. This is also one of those little exhaust fans for travel. All right. Oh, and look, the keys are here. You want a key? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's ours, huh? <laughs> Does a toy come with it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's got storage. Wow. This is more storage than our toy hauler. And it's a pass through. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's crazy. You can't see around the tire, but wow. Yeah, look at the space. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this one. It's got a lot of open space out there. I could definitely see just like sitting out, looking out. I got this glass of wine. Brings in a lot of natural lighting in there too. Yeah, he's got a lot of great PR vibes too. Especially with the space and the floor your brother's going up. It's just a matter of putting an air vent in there. Oh, see, see, they like it too. <laughs> and they have e-bikes. You guys have e-bikes? Yeah, they've got e-bikes. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, yeah we love ours. <laughs> have a fun day. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you think about it? I think this is a great first RV if you need something small. I mean, for a couple, maybe. Uh, like. One of the things you mentioned before was that the sink is right by the bed. So that might be kind of a, you might splash the blankets while you're doing you Ew. Know, dishes. <laughs> that would be kind of gross. So you'd have to be careful doing dishes. But I can't think of any other negatives on this one. Can you? No, not really. And I know the payments they said were like 190 a month. That's from General RV. I don't know what the actual sale price is yet. I'm guessing. I shouldn't guess actually. <laughs> so uh, you'll have to check it out for yourself. And let us know if you get it. Start small if you need to. Here's your toy hauler. We go to bed with you every single night. Oh wow, this is so intimate. <laughs> <laughs> I love to be intimate with strangers. I know, right? We should probably introduce ourselves first before we get that intimate. But now we're friends. <laughs> so it's okay for all you know, our viewers. I saw this shirt, it was up front, and it says, I sleep around. around. <laughs> and I was like, that would be cute to do. Did you see that? I sleep? around <laughs> like, how perfect is that so we met jw and dina here at the tampa yes. rv show and said full time in about two years two years yeah yep. okay awesome. well congrats i hear a youtube channel <laughs> <laughs> do you really <laughs> i hear it, I hear it. <laughs>
it was advised that we check out this robe light. So we're gonna check it out so you can see it. Oh, look, it has a screened door. Pretty nice. cool, yeah. All right. Nice. Ooh, it feels nice and cool in here. Oh, I've got the AC going in nice here. Nice AC. Can we just hang out here for a little while? <laughs> yeah. Now where's that wine? <laughs> so it looks like the dining area turns into a bed right here. Little refrigerator. Not bad for this size of RV. And look at the bench back here. Oh, I bet there's storage under that. Ah. Yeah, it looks like these are storage bins. And a little window over here is nice. Another window here. What is this right here? A bunk. This has a bunk. Oh, Look at that. How about that? Yeah, so this comes down supported right here super cool. nice surprise so this could literally sleep four people yeah yeah very nice one two three four yep you're right let's see what's in here a oh, little shower bathroom this a little combination the combo I really like this paneling that they've used here. It's nice. They're not actually panels. They just look like it, but it's nice. It has a nice two burners here. There's no room for a microwave. Maybe you could have one installed up here, but nice storage up here, a little sink. Basically, it has all the basics of what you need to go camping. And at this price point, this is a great place to start. Well, you could put a microwave right there. Yeah, you sure could. I wonder why they didn't. So the Rove Light, another great little RV, maybe a beginner RV. It kind of has that classic style to it, like those rounder, older RVs that you see that people have. And But this is brand new. It's light. You can pull it with smaller vehicles. So check it out. That's the Rove Light RV. We're taking a look at a little teardrop camper right now. This is a free solo. How cool is that? So the first thing I noticed is this dual bunk bed right here. So you're gonna have to sleep separate if you buy this particular model. And we've got the AC unit, the microwave up on Wait a minute. We could fit up there. <laughs> You wouldn't sleep up there with me? Yeah, we could squeeze in there or together. Or down there. You know, actually, the, the bed down here does have more room. You could probably squeeze in pretty tightly together <laughs> on this one. <laughs> sure. So, let's take a look under here. We've got a little bit of storage underneath right here. Uh, a two burner stove, tiny little sink right there. but. That's pretty much all you need, right? We've got the AC unit right here and a microwave. What is this right here? Let's take a peek. Whoa, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Interesting, your toilet and the shower are a step in right from the living area. But when you're in a small teardrop camper like this one, you do have to kind of make sacrifices to actually have what isn't really a bad sized uh, shower. We've got 
not a bad size fridge and freezer for a small camper like this one. And I would assume this will also make into another bed, a nice seating area back here. We've got a little storage area up here that you can put stuff. And this seating area makes out into an even a bigger bed, so that's not bad. I'm not sure about a table. So we could actually sleep together <laughs> in this one here. So I think I guess this would comfortably sleep about three people. Hey, I found the table. Here it is. It's just not set up right now. So you do get a table. It says it sleeps four people. <laughs> it's 18 feet long. And the dry weight is only 2,500 pounds on this. So you can tow it with a small vehicle. And it has a screen door, which is cool for a small RV like this. It's a nice size storage. It's another pass-through storage. And look at this space for a tiny little teardrop. Oh, you got outside access to the bed. <laughs> In case you're wanting to take a nap really quick. <laughs> you could just leap in. <laughs> Let's take a look at the sheet and see. Wow, not bad. This RV is under $20,000 with their show savings. And the model is the FAM or FAM, the FAM model. $169 per month. This is from RV1. And we met some great salespeople from RV1 today. We'll put their contact information down below. Uh, Maya and Desiree. So not a bad little teardrop camper for under $20,000. This is the Tracer 24DS. Let's take a look at what's inside here. We've got the kitchen right here. Not a bad size sink. For such a small RV, this is probably not too bad for counter space. We've got the microwave up here. Decent sized cabinet up top here. Lots of drawers right here. And underneath the sink is actually pretty spacious as well. Three burner uh, stove top with a small Furion oven right here. With the cool little blue lights right here. A little latch right here so it doesn't come open while you're traveling. But look at this freezer and refrigerator here. This refrigerator is a lot bigger than other travel trailers that were even bigger. So this is nice space. Two huge bunk beds. I mean, you could sleep four people back here and then a bunch of underneath storage down here. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Wow, pretty deep. A decent sized shower check it for height. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Not too bad. I am almost six feet tall so you know if you're a little over six feet you can still fit in here. And but just look at this space. It's, it's not bad at all. Well the medicine cabinet is a little bit small nice room underneath wow more deep storage you can go way back in here nice 
this is really nice dinette area here. Looks like you could sit, I don't know, maybe six people here, possibly? A lot of people, and I'm going to guess that this converts into a bed, but don't hold me to it. Check it out. Deep, deep storage underneath here on both sides. We've got the entertainment center here. Nice size TV, a sound bar included. That's pretty cool. And not bad storage underneath. You've got two different ways you can get into the master bedroom, either side. sliding doors to close this off and actually this is for another TV right here it's interesting the sliding doors come behind the TV which would just go right here so this is kind of a cool design I don't think I've ever seen this before we've got a queen size bed in here we've got closet space on both sides of the bed and a really nice storage area here on top. The closets are small, but you know, for this size RV, it's not too bad. Check out the outdoor kitchen here, and you got a little stove out here as well. Look at all this storage right here. And a little tiny fridge out here as well, so you can have some cold beverages. All we need is the TV out here, right? Wow, even more storage. Nice pass-through area underneath here. So this RV is just 24 feet long. Uh, the dry weight is 5,200 pounds. But the price right here, special show price. Look at that, the MSRP is close to $40,000. Show price under $28 thousand dollars like we ran into some other people here at the show today that said the prices you know are really good they don't seem like they are that high payments as low as 190 a month actually look at this <laughs> Ah, there we go. What's this? That goes right there. It's not going on. <laughs> Check out the outdoor kitchen here. Oh, that's why. Let's slide down. And a little tiny TV. <laughs> I see our vision, I think, TV. And it even has a screen door. Find out. Oh my gosh. Uh, what is it? It's a little piggy ducky. <laughs> we got ducked. Oh, there's a card. You've been ducked. Take a pick and share. Duck, duck, jeep, ducking jeeps. Cute. <laughs> oh, we got to take a selfie with it. That's your second one. <laughs> I love it. Enjoy! Stop.